everybody, and welcome back to European War 4. Now, I want to start off this episode by saying that I am so sorry, because I won't be able to do my USSR conquest on World Conqueror 3 anymore. And, yes, I will be returning with a new World Conqueror 3 conquest when they fix their game. Because they done messed up the game, and now it's quite hard to record. Meaning that, like, it freezes up, like, right as you're stopping the recording. And, for some reason, that means that you didn't record at all. I, I don't know, but I recorded a ton, and it all got deleted. So, I won't be able to do that conquest anymore just because I did way too much to just start up another part and say, Hey, the other parts didn't record, so I'm going to start up from here. No, I just did way too much, so... Uh, the USSR Conquest will be no more, but trust me, I have a different one coming for you guys that will be better than that USSR Conquest, so bear with me here. But, to kind of uh, make up for me not being able to do that Conquest anymore, I have decided to do this one which I've been suggested for quite a while and that I've been putting off because it, I just didn't want to do it. So we're going to go to Europe, 1809, and um, we're, we're going to play as Serbia. Let's do this. This was suggested by a certain gentleman that is subscribed to me. I'm not going to name names, but uh, he, you know who you are. Yeah, I did not want to do this conquest, but you know what? <laughs> Let's do it. This is more just a test to see how far I can get. I don't actually expect to win. So I'm going to hold at this river right here with this unit. And my main objective is to take over this little country right here. Because I think that it's like my biggest rival. Because, you know, we're, we're kind of the same size country. We're kind of both underdogs. So yeah, once again, I'm sorry that I cannot do the World Conqueror 3 Conquest. And I'll try another one. By the way, I'm not going to tell you guys what the next Conquest from World Conqueror 3 is going to be. Just because I have such high expectations for it. Alright guys, I'm sorry about that. And I know, I'm not going to keep on apologizing this entire episode, but once again, I just want to say... I'm sorry if you really did like that USSR conquest. I just feel so bad for dropping it, but I, it's just <laughs> I don't want to blame the developers at Easy Tech, but I, it's mostly their fault for updating the game like that. But oh well, I've been wanting to do some more European War. So. This first part is mostly going to be about defending, because if we can defend, then we'll be golden, hopefully, for the rest of this. All we need to do is take out these few uh, kind of bordering cities over here. So, Uscup and this uh, factory right there. By the way, I've never... But well you can already see, but I have never completed a conquest on this year. So if I do this, like imagine me just saying, Oh yeah, I I completed my first conquest on this year as Serbia. Like that would just be awesome. Cause it's nearly impossible to play this game and win as Serbia. It's just such a bad country to start out with. Man, I miss this music though. I really like the soundtrack to this game. It doesn't get enough credit for how good it really is. Sorry. Alright. Mm. No, I need to get out of range of that four. So my main goal right here is to defend for this first part, possibly catch her uskip, and to upgrade my cities as much as I can, because I'm gonna need that gold, 
Because as you can already tell, you do not earn a lot of money as Serbia. And we're probably going to lose over here by this bridge, so I'm going to fall back in my units for now. Uh, just kind of let them uh, cross that bridge. Hopefully there's a Viking over at that bridge. She'll save us. <laughs> if, if you guys don't know what I'm referencing, I'm talking about the Viking at Stanford Bridge. That's one of my uh, favorite stories. I was told that as a kid. But it is a real story. And it is amazing. You should uh, look up that story if you've never heard it. But oh well. I'll leave that for another time. Alright, so they are not actually going for the bridge. That is surprising. So I'm actually going to post my infantry right here because I don't want him just skipping over the bridge and taking my city. So we're just gonna, kind of going to plug that up there. By the way, that is a very nice looking bridge. Very modern. Anyway. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and attack. Doing a lot of damage to us, Kip. I don't know what unit is defending it, but it's not a very good unit. Let's actually uh, see here. Moesha. I, sh I should have recognized that symbol. Oh, the Ottomans are sending over one of their generals. Let's see who it is. I've seen him around. Yep, he's one of the really good generals. Not the best. He's going to go straight for my cannon. He already is. But now that we've taken Uskip, we should be able to send troops directly to him. Oh, yeah. He does a lot of damage. Should turn that volume down a little bit. There we are. Oh no, we need to uh, make some artillery. Actually, since that, that uh, I'm going to end up regretting this. I already know that I am. Oh wait, oh no, that's why he's not leaving. He's guarding that city. Alright, so we should be good, but I need to get my other general over there. See, he's just on militia, but it's better than not having him. What we need to do is get some uh, cannons on that. <clears throat> oh, and he just straight up passed that city. And the reason why I'm not that mad about it is because that is such a dumb move by him. Because he's going to get surrounded immediately. By the way, I want to point out, why hasn't Italy tried to attack me yet? Huh. I feel like Italy would do well if they attacked me, but oh well. I, I'm not trying to encourage them. And... Boop! You just got yourself surrounded. There, another city to upgrade. Oh god, we're taking so much damage. That one general is gonna mess up my unit so bad. That's the one thing I hate about starting out as such a small country. Oh no. That one general. Freaking hate him. We don't have a lot of money. Let's just see how this goes. Oh no. Alright, um. So we only have one unit right now. Um, that is not the best. I think that we need to hold at this river right here. I don't think that was a good idea to go ahead and go beyond that river. Mmm. I'm hoping that I can make enough money to go ahead and repel them before they end up taking me over. So 
So we have pretty much lost this side of the river. But keep in mind, we still have Uskip, which is like right in the middle of the Ottoman Empire. If they don't go for that city, we could be able to pull this off. Oh, no, they're going right for Belgrade. Oh, that's a really good unit, too. Oh, oh, Russia is coming to the rescue. Oh, thank you, Russia. You better get down there right now. I only have one standard unit of Grenadiers defending Belgrade. And I don't think that Spain's going to be around much longer. Guys, we're going to have to start over at this city right here. I don't think that we can defend. I have a plan. And this is going to have to go perfectly if I want to pull it off. Alright guys, hear me. Actually, no, don't even hear me out. I'll just do it. Oh. Oh, we still have Belgrade. That's surprising. But I need to go ahead and get ready if I want to pull this off. This is going to be like some James Bond shit. Except with armies. Let's see if I can do this. I, I wonder if you guys can go ahead and see what I'm trying to do. Oh no, I shouldn't have attacked that unit right there. I just hope that I can earn enough money to actually pull this off, because if I can't then I'm screwed. Oh no, they took that other city. We're going to have to start all over again at Uskip. I should not have left that... Ugh. I should not have expanded my territory so fast. I should have stayed back. Alright, that was entirely my fault. But, uh, I mean, we're not doing terrible. It, I, I, you know what, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Yes, we are doing terrible. Uh... I'm actually going to save up my money to get some guards. Come on. Actually, let's see how guards are compared to uh, upgraded wine infantry. So... I'll go with upgraded wine infantry because they have more health. So, what I plan on doing, all right, I'm gonna have to change that plan because my James Bond plan did not work out. I'm gonna have to go around and like ghost capturing these cities if I have if I want to have any chance at surviving this conquest. Yeah, my, my James Bond plan. I didn't actually expect it to work out. And we're gonna, just going to avoid that. Uh, Yeah, just, just it's just a small fortress. Not too big of a deal. Oh, and my fort is still alive. I would have figured that they took him out by now. Oh, I see. All these units are defending a city, so they aren't going to move. So that's going to make my job a ton easier. I think I'll go through one more turn and then I will end this episode. But keep in mind, even if I don't have any cities left, I can still, like, prosper. Because all I need is one unit to be alive in order to keep this conquest going. <clears throat> but, yeah, guys, I think that this is a good place to end it. Uh, I'm not going to lie, this is a terrible start. <laughs> But hopefully we will be able to rebuild just from us, Kip, because we have lost 
all of the land that we started out in. Now we just have us, Kip. So, I hope, I hope that we can pull this off. Because you guys have been wanting to see this conquest for a while, and I want to make up for the USSR co conquest failing. Well, not necessarily failing, but you know what I mean. Anyway, guys, I will see all of you next time. Goodbye.